Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mechanicus with me, Bring It Don. We're going to confront the corrupted king. A prime hermetic in Captrix has located the possible sarcophagus of Lord Ujjow. Enter his tomb and destroy the diseased and insane lord before he can fully wake. Okay. I could see this being pretty good. Yeah, I'll bring one of these guys. Actually, I think he would be better, because again, he has that physical armor. And more health. And ignores armor. Yeah, we'll do it that way. A so target operations in the tomb of Ubjow report probable sarcophagus location. Target reanimation unknown. The Ubjow is a plague upon Silver Tenebris. His ranting broadcasts have demoralized the, the Skatari to the point that they are barely maintaining a foothold in his tomb. If he wakes fully and becomes an active combatant, the Skatari will have to fall back. <laughs> A target profile includes probable flare virus infection and extreme behavior unpredictability. Standard Necron Warform target protocols ineffective. New coursing solutions in progress. If we have a chance to cut out this cancer, then we must take it. Influence, Influence excision confirmed as objective. Lord Ubja must die. Release the hounds. I really love Catrix's phrases, personality. We know where he is, but we don't know what we'll find when we get there. Ubjow's mad, and the flare virus could have turned him into a monster. Mission priorities are speed, target identification, and mental resilience. Ubjow likely morale, as well as physical threat. What makes him difficult to fight is also the reason he has to die. I do not relish the fallout from this mission, my guy, but the consequences of letting Ujjal live are worse. Possible biological mechanical fusion requires attack solution recalculation. Recommend a fire. Suits me. Fire works on everything. Well, I did bring a flamethrower. Um, sure. Hey, plus three hit points. I'd rather have Blackstone, but I'll take the hit points. Well, I guess it was only a heal, which we didn't need. Into this middle one. Okay. It almost looks like a ritual site. Do these things have a religion? Or it could be a trap. Several human skulls, still bloody and evidently recently removed from their former owners, sit in a circle on the floor. They appear to have been deliberately placed. You place a monitoring device near the skulls to see if the flayed ones return to it. Shortly after being placed, the device activates and transmits a brief pick stream to the Castus Metallican. It shows the image of the skulls flickering, then being replaced by a vast landscape of writhing corpses that churns and pulsates beneath a scorched black sky. The device then cuts out, destroyed by unknown means. If I should have just avoided it. Possibly Ubjow. High value target visual reference potential. A relief of a glowering Necron Lord looms over the wall of this chamber, or from the wall of this chamber, visible through the smears of filth and gore that cover so much of the tomb of Ubjow.
Yeah, the image suggests the chamber is important. Search it for anything of value. Son of a gun. The cohort's enthusiasm in ransacking the chamber causes a foul miasma of decay from rotting biological matter to be disturbed. This toxic fog or fog, I think it's supposed to be fog, drives them from the chamber because I don't know what a fog is. Uh, suffering the effects of the poisonous air and ruining their haste in hunting for valuables. The crushed and mangled body of a Skatari lies among the detritus of this chamber. Unlike the other dead encountered in the tombs, it shows no sign of the Goss blasters from Necron warriors or the blades of the flayed ones. Instead, it looks to have fallen victim to massive blunt trauma. Yeah, burn the body to put it beyond the use of the flayed ones. The body is rapidly consumed by the flames. The body is thereby prevented from being used as raw materials by the loathsome flayed ones. However, the thick greasy smoke emitted by the fire forces the cohort to make a diversion from their planned route. Okay. I guess there are no good decisions in these boss... boss tombs. So I've yet to benefit from any of those. High probability, trail of the prey. Close in on the quarry. Let the baying commence. The tracks of something huge run through this chamber, leaving gouges in the gore-smeared floor. Whatever it was, it left scraps of torn skin and globs of shredded muscle tissue in its wake. Yeah, follow the tracks cautiously so as not to, not to alert the target. Hey, I finally got something. The cohort moves carefully along the route indicated by the tracks, maintaining stealth as much as possible. They're able to inspect some of the remains left in the wake of the creature, many of whom are Skatari whose augmentations and gear can be salvaged as the cohort passes by. Alright, let's go. A literal heart of corruption. Lives of Giarados, 73.60. If it is not a head to sever, cut out the heart. High value target confirmed. Combat capabilities confirmed. Biochemical structure apparent. Hypothesis. Refer flare virus. Hybrid machine curse. Bioviral infection. Imperative. Acquire samples. The coursing is complete. The quarry is at bay. Strike for the kill. This chamber is dominated by a hideous sight. A mass of flesh and body parts pulses in the center of the chamber, like a cocoon assembled from the corpses of the tomb's dead. The mass is composed of both fresher Skatari dead and older mummified bodies, probably from the vanished settlers of St. Eckard's Hope. I didn't, have it. I didn't get to choose how I approach the situation either, so I don't start with cognition points. That's not a very big thing, but I know they can, yeah, they can climb up the side like that. Which I'm really not worried about. But I do have to go all the way around, it looks like. Is there any gain to going that way? No? So we could fight those guys. There's no cognition point generation here. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. I might just have us have all my units just run up to him and uh, kill him. Cause they can't see us.
Yeah, we can just get in position. This is... Alright. I feel like this is a little cheesy. So I doubt, because we don't have any cognition points, we're not going to be able to uh, burst him down in one turn. At least we'll be in a position where we can fight him and probably hold off the you know, opposing played ones for a while. and I have him chill here until everyone else catches up. Alright, that guy's gonna be annoying. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's so many enemies here. Sorry if y'all heard that in the background. I think my cat's knocked something off the counter. ton of enemies. I think we'll be okay though. Because most of them have to run up here to us. I mean, these guys can phase shift, of course, but... It seems like they have a general idea of where we're at as well. So shifting... Well, except for that guy. We also don't know what he's capable of, if he's gonna like teleport around or anything either. So that's something else we have to be conscious of. Alright, delay his turn. He doesn't have any armor or anything. This might be pretty easy. So probably crit as well.
Yeah, it works for me. And of course, I think the biggest threat here is not having any cognition points. And also the extremely long turn orders because uh, there's so many flayed ones here. Best course of action for him? I don't think that it is. But he can't attack. Oh, yes, he can. So let's do it this way. We can have him run forward. He can steal a cognition point. He's still gonna attack with his uh, power X. stats, I guess. Inflated ones aren't really a threat. It's pretty hard. That's something to keep in mind moving forward. What I might do is just sit next to this guy. You have an idea. I'll poke him with some more damage. I'm gonna sit right here next to him. So he has to move in order to attack. I might just one-shot him, honestly. A couple more damage on him. Then again, this guy might just phase shift away. Behind the wall? Would I even be able to shoot that guy if I wanted to? Shoot this guy. Nope, okay. It doesn't count as melee because they can't see this guy.
Take him out. Is that really it? That was kind of disappointing. <laughs> he didn't have any special mechanics or anything. He just... I mean, I guess the map itself was special in that it didn't have any cognition points. And he had to, like, spiral, spiral up it. But I guess because I had the occultist whatever they're called, the the, uh, the stealth devices. It made it obnoxiously easy. Even then, it's mostly flares, and flares aren't really a threat. Uh, the hulking horror that is Lord Ubjow collapsed, or Ubjow, collapses to the ground in a mass of torn flesh and ruptured metal. The fusion of biological and mechanical parts prevents the remains from teleporting away in their entirety, leaving many gory chunks of Ubjow's structure oozing on the floor. The cohort can recover these after they have given the Omnissiah thanks for helping them prevail against such a monstrosity. Kill confirmed. Unmaking concluded. At great cost, none who witnessed Lord Ujjah will be the same. Even my narrow vault struggle to contain the disgust and dread at such a sight. Bodies heal, minds heal. Lord Ujjah remains dead. Time is on our side. Tuma Ujjah is still a moral threat, but with Ujjah gone, it will not continue to get worse. We may yet hold it, Captrix. We may yet be victorious on Silver Tenebris. Concept of victory is dependent on high value target eliminations. There will be more calls to the chase. The hunt is not yet finished. It was a little difficult, I guess, because the, uh... I should've used my... to only kill. I should've used the... Not cantrip, what's it called? Canticle, there we go. Actually, I actually have a plan regarding the... Canicles. Well, that one was extremely underwhelming. I think we're going to do another one. I know it's going to go over time, but, uh... Yeah, let's go and do Memories of the Void. So we get this additional slot for mission deployment. Uh, Lord Agrilek, Master of Necron Fleets, kept records of his war exploits deep in his tomb. Tech Inquisitor Scavola has requested they be retrieved to aid in gathering the intelligence on the Necrons. It's a normal difficulty mission, so I'm not super worried about it. A tomb of Agri-like opportunities, tantalizing, tempting, potential for intelligence on Necron enemy. I'm not averse to knowing our enemies, Kavola, as long as doing so is worth the risk to our personnel. Risks equals justified. Hypothesis retrieval, Lord Agri-like kept records of exploits as Fleet Master. That does, uh, that does sound illuminating. Do they still exist? Skatari report data medium library located. Presence of Agrilex war records equals probable. As I suspected. I applauded the location of the chamber Magos. Skatari are holding the perimeter as best they can, but the Necrons are pushing back hard. Situation conclusion. There is much worth defending. Valuable objective confirmed. Let us hope that is true, Kepra. Or sorry, let us hope that is true. Kepra, can you Skatari hold the line until the cohort can reach the target chamber? If we can achieve this objective quickly, yes. What is it you hope to find? Knowledge Subdomina. Of course. The cohort is ready to advance Magos. Alright, so there's only two we need to get to. That's easy enough. Let's head straight there. There, there are two fights, so it's going to take a little bit of time. This first one should be really easy since there's no awakening. Except for we do have to kill all enemies. Shh. 
They can start the battle. They can't see us. So we should be okay. Um, are there any consoles to scan? There is one. Okay. We'll keep that in mind going forward. Ooh, I have an idea. Go and grab that, and then we can flamer all three of these guys. They credit two of them. Fantastic. Been a lot of work that turn. Sweet, he's down. That makes this next part really easy. Good. Take care of him. So I got 9 damage through, that's really good. And he'll take acid damage and he'll die next turn. So I'm no longer worried about that guy. Nice. And then I have an idea. We want to... Do that, and we can shoot straight through all these guys. High probability of critical. Fantastic. Take a cognition from this. Oh, cool. It's just the one guy left. Even better. Plans that we'll do a heal. Just out of range.
It's worth the attack opportunity for the cognition. Actually, I might be able to kill him right now. I'm gonna hold off on that though, because we can destroy that uh, console. So let's delay his turn. We'll have him destroy the console real quick. Then we can have a Minarius run in and finish that guy off. An intrusively high, sorry, an intrusively high level of background data is present in the local news sphere in this part of the tomb, corrupting sensor data and interfering with comms. If left unaddressed, the Xenos originated junk data could hamper the cohort's combat effectiveness. Yeah, create a data burst in the news sphere to counter the counter out the Xenos data. Clashing data forms cancel each other out, clearing the new sphere of Necron influence for now. The cohort takes courage from the fact that the application of tech lore defeats alien cunning. Situation analysis processing. Analysis complete. Imperative follows. Acquire it. This chamber contains a slab of glossy, glass-like black material, possibly a repository of data. It might be part of Agrilex's collection of military accounts. Yeah, I'll take the slab for return to the case's Metallican. The slab is booby-trapped and is destroyed by a hidden explosive, showering the cohort with debris. With debris. Some of the data medium can be recovered, but only a fraction of what the slab may have once contained. I'll take the 3 CP though. Very valuable to me. I didn't level up after the last mission, did I? Whoopsies. Scan or destroy, okay. Is it just the one? That's a turret. Yes, okay, so I see one scanner destroy. Oh, I didn't move my guys, it's fine, they can't see us anyway. They may have the initiative, but they uh Well I guess it just doesn't matter. No, you jerk. You took all three of it? That's fine. I didn't really want it anyway. I wonder if I hit them both with a the flamethrower from here. Close, but no dice. If I fell back some, I probably could. Really? You're not gonna let me hit both? That's fine, I don't care anyway. I just wanna kill this guy.
Yeah, go ahead and grab this to cognition. I don't mind sending him this way so he can get a hold of the uh, cognition that that can uptake. Akinth right? Is there another? There is not. I'll just hold off on that then. Sweet. Don't have to worry about that guy. Could sit one down. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea, I think, to sit one down, like, right here. That was a really dumb move. I don't think you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Minarius, man. Yeah, cruising for a cruising, buddy. Free damage, oh, that's pretty nasty. Out of destroying these, are you gonna net me any blackstone or not? It's probably still worth a shot. Destroying him. So the way to find out is to do it. Well, that guy's got some uh some range to him. What does this guy got? This should just take him out. I really don't like that guy. I'm gonna take a shot, but that's okay. Cause I dodged it.
I can shoot him next turn. Make sure he stays down. I'm taking my cognition, you jerk. I, mean, I guess it wouldn't be the worst idea to. Was, did he just come out? Is he a new threat? Definitely don't recognize him. Uh, that's right. Let's shoot this guy. Actually, I should probably get back and grab this. My cognition points. All right, I'm gonna keep trekking this way. I'm probably just gonna zap this with a big gun. Place the one. <laughs> that place in there didn't matter. Can he collect cognition points? Stand right there, I guess. Mm 
I don't know what to do with this guy. Cool. I never hit 3%, so I don't have to worry about the console being destroyed. Well, that went well. The repository of Agrilex military records has walls covered with thousands of slabs of data medium, each a volume of his history of conquest and war. The cohort take what they can and labor, and labor servitors are sent to end harvest the rest. Man, that's right. Reading again. A fragmentary translation in progress. Hypothesis generation commencing. Necrons fought immense war with unknown adversary prior to slumber. Implications equal significant. Intriguing to be sure, but does it help us now? All knowledge of the enemy equals beneficial. We must know his mind, methods, capabilities. Uh, if equals true, victory to follow. Scripture retrieval, thus the Omnissiah demands. Indeed he does, Kivola. Should you gain some great insight into the ways of the Necron that can help protect our men and women in the field, be sure to let me know. I should have used the canicle on that last turn. Whoopsies. To heal up everybody. I keep forgetting to do that. I wonder what the range on that is. It's probably worth putting on one of our, uh, on Jeremiah, because I can get rid of this, because I don't use it very often, and if we give him the scanner, I think that'd be more beneficial. Alright, where is Minarius? Ooh. So I don't know what a cognitive, cognitive canister is. I can't afford to level him up again. Or anybody else. Okay. We're almost done with his uh, second discipline. Which is really what I want. Uh, that sounds really good, because you can call in, again, it's one cognition for any troop, which right now it costs, for the our good troops, it costs two. So it's already cheaper. And you can do it in the middle of a turn instead of waiting to the end of the turn, or the start of the next round, so you can use it more strategically. And this will come in handy for this guy, for my Dominus, because right now his big gun costs four cognition points. If I can reduce that by two... That's really good. So yeah, looking forward to that. Anyway, I am going to call it here. In the next mission or next episode, we will take out I think I want to do this one for the uh, upgraded Infestus Mechadendrite. Again, that's something everybody uses. So having a tier three of that is a uh, I think it's a worthwhile investment. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.